right, good morning. Welcome to Friday, May 27th. Good to see you again. Today's reading will be Song of Solomon 1 through 4, and then tomorrow's reading will be Song of Solomon 5 through 8. I went ahead and made, made my reading and uh, my study all eight chapters, and they're fairly short, so um, you know, four chapters for each day shouldn't be difficult at all. There are a couple different views of Song of Solomon. One view is that this book depicts the love between Christ and the church. There's another view that um, you know talks about dating and courtship. I'll give you my view of it. My view of this book is that this was one of Solomon's early wives that he just fell in love with. We get into the story. They're already married. Um, this book I believe is fairly erotic. I believe it's written in a way to where we can read it and miss it. I believe it's talking about marriage, a man and a woman who love each other, and there's some pretty graphic detail in there. I just have a huge problem just viewing this book as you know, the love between Christ and the church. It's an Old Testament book. Why would that Old Testament book just be about that? And some other things that are said. I just, I just don't buy it. But as you read this, um, you know, talking about how he was, <laughs> you know, laying with her, his position, talked about where his hands were two, two times, talked about sitting underneath his shadow, taste of his fruit, pomegranates, all the sorts of neat stuff is depicting, you know, marital love. And I just think that the Shulamite was one of the early loves of Solomon. And uh, even it, even by this time, there's still a harem that has grown, but it seems like they're the two that you know really have something for each other. All right, so let this go ahead and serve for the video for tomorrow. I'll go ahead and just read something else there. Read four chapters today, four tomorrow, and uh, maybe I'll go off and read Mark or something tomorrow for for so a day off for the video, but not for uh, reading for any of us. But I'd be interested to hear how you uh, see this book as well, because to me it seems obvious, plainly obvious, uh, what it's talking about. I have no problem with it. All right. Hope you have a good Friday, and uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a good day.